This week, I'm taking a look at the Olive Pro Hearing Earbuds, which are billed as a $200 alternative to $4,000 hearing aids. But are they? Let's find out. Oh, and if you enjoy this review, do subscribe for more gadget and tech reviews below. Of all the things that started going wrong with me in middle age, the ozone hole on the top of my head, the prostate the size of a rugby ball, the declining eyesight, the gout and the hearing loss, it's the hearing loss I hate the most. Apart from anything else, it's the only medical problem people get annoyed with you about. Oh God, how many times do I have to repeat myself? I'm just hoping people are going to be a little bit more sympathetic when I get diabetes or heart failure or cancer or something. Hearing loss is also so bloody isolating, especially in crowded places where it's so hard to make out what anyone's saying to you against the background noise. Only yesterday, a few of us were sitting in a cafe discussing Ukraine and someone turned around and said that stupid Putin was attacking the sissies. Really? I said. I don't think you can call the Ukrainians sissies. They're brave as lions. No, came the reply. He's bombing the cities with a T. Anyway, I'm always on the hunt for anything which is going to improve my hearing more than the standard issue NHS things. So when I heard about Olive Pro on the crowdfunding website Indiegogo, well, I had to give them a go-go. Now first, the Olive website invites you to take a hearing test and for that you're going to need a pair of headphones. I'm going to use my trusty Bear Dynamic Lagoon ANC headphones, which I bought a couple of years ago. And in fact, they were one of the first things I ever reviewed. They're still absolutely brilliant. So let's see how bad my hearing really is. Now first it asks, how would you describe your hearing? Poor, good or not sure? What? Poor, I guess. Then it says, let's get prepared for the hearing test using earphones or headphones, find a quiet place, adjust the device volume to 50%, which I've already done. And now it's going to play a series of tones at me and I have to press these plus or minus buttons uh, until I can't hear them anymore. Right, now it's going to play a series of words at me uh, and I have to associate the words with the pictures on the screen, which is a bit harder than you'd imagine because the words are played with quite a lot of background noise. And now for my results. Oh dear, having trouble hearing. Your results indicate that you may have some difficulty hearing in certain situations. The Olive Smart Ear may be able to help you hear better in situations such as noisy environments or, or when watching TV. Well, here they are. Let's find out. Now, for the purpose of this review, I'm going to compare the Olive Pro earbuds here with my bog standard NHS hearing aids and with something called Flare Ear HD which if you've watched my earlier reviews, you'll know these are mini ear trumpets, which also claim to improve your hearing, but don't. So they'll act as a useful control. Now, when you first realize you're gonna need hearing aids, the most important feature you're gonna be looking for is that they're invisible. I mean, nothing shouts louder to the world that you've gone past your best before date than a hearing aid the size of Jodrell Bank sticking out of the side of your face. On that score, the NHS hearing aids are really pretty good, providing you only let people approach you from the front. From the rear, things are a little less good. The ear trumpets, on the other hand, well, they just look weird and you're forever going to have people staring at your ears wondering, what the hell? And the Olive Pros? Well, they look just like Apple's AirPods. And that has one big advantage, which is that you're not going to look like some deaf old fart. On the contrary, you'll look like you're still getting down with the kids. 
catching the latest tunes on your way down to the newsagent. On the flip side though, when I see someone wearing earbuds on the street, I assume they're listening to music and they won't be able to hear me. Still, on balance, I think I could just about get used to wearing earbuds in public if they really do make a substantial difference to what I can hear. So I'm going to give these things a go. Now first things first, you have to download the inevitable app and pair them with your smartphone. Then you have to take another hearing test to personalise the sound. Now I need to test how much of a difference these things really make. There are two situations where I struggle most with my hearing loss. The first is when there's lots of background noise, such as drinks or dinner parties. The second is when I'm trying to watch TV. Actually, normal TV is usually okay. It's films that are the real killer, I think because they're recorded with so many special effects that it becomes impossible to make out the dialogue. So let's go and try these things out watching TV. I'm going to try these things out on a Jack Reacher movie, and first of all, I'm not going to wear any hearing aids at all. So let's see what that's like. Yeah, I'm really struggling to make the dialogue out there. It is like listening to the film with a pair of socks stuffed in my ears. So let's try, first of all, the Flare Ear HDs. These are the mini ear trumpets. Holding its ground in spite of the circuit pipeline vote of the UN and the latest deficit in the ear reaction. Utterly useless. They make absolutely no difference at all. Save your money. So next, the Olive Pros. Now the Olive Pros have got uh, three settings on here. Uh, they've got quiet, clear and boost. So I'll start with boost. That's completely unusable. A really horrible noise. It's sort of like sitting in a cave. So I'll try clear. There's a revival of that sorry wrong number at the phone forum. Just thinking that might be fine. That's better actually, that's an improvement. <laughs> and it's definitely helping. I'll just rewind that difficult bit of dialogue. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll, now I'll try quiet. That's very subtle, very little difference at all. Um, so the million dollar question is, how do, do the Olive Pros stack up against my bottom of the range NHS hearing aids? So pop those in. That is in a different league. I mean, it's so much better than these things. I, I have to say, actually, it's beyond me how they can possibly claim that these are an alternative to hearing aids. They're just simply not. Uh, unless perhaps you've got, you know, your hearing's really not too bad in the first place. So the question is, have I just wasted 200 bucks or will these be okay as a spare pair of earphones? Well, for that, I tested them against my Sony WF-1000 wireless noise cancelling earbuds. And again, the Sonys are in a completely different league. Where the Olive Pros here sound tinny and scratchy, the Sonys sound wonderfully rich and clear. Actually, it makes you realise just how good these Sonys are. So as earbuds, these things are pretty much unusable. But I've just realised, I think I misunderstood how they're supposed to work. When you stick them in your ears, everyone thinks you're listening to music, which makes them shout at you. Can you tell me the way to Piccadilly Circus? And now I can hear them. It's genius. 
Although what would have been even better is if they'd removed all the electronics and just sold me a couple of dummy earbuds for a couple of dollars. Oh well, my search for a good, reasonably priced hearing aid goes on. If you know any, do share in the comments below. And if you know anyone else with bad hearing, you might like to share this review with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.